Okay, this is part two of the video on discovery learning. And remember, there are two types of discovery learning, open discovery learning and guided discovery learning. This video will talk about open discovery learning. Now, open discovery learning is seldom used in its purest form. It's on the far end of the continuum. <clears throat> Here, students would make all the decisions. The best example of pure open discovery learning would be uh, the research paper where there is total choice. Now, if you want to do this with your older students, that's fine, but you still need a little bit of structure. Here's a structure you might use if you want to use a research paper. Have students do these eight steps. They choose their topic. They put their topic in the form of one to three questions. These questions are important because it guides the note taking. So in a research paper, you have a topic, put it in the form of a question. Identify potential sources for data, depending on the age, of course. Uh, take, uh, identify and designate sources that you will use. Take notes. Examine your notes, look for gr groups, create a draft and a final draft. All right, you can find that other places. The second type of open discovery learning is the independent study or the in, uh, uh, investigation. Here, the learner asks a question and gathers data to answer the question. This can be done individually or in pairs. And I like when the learner always presents the findings to a group. You can adopt and adapt as necessary. And to provide structure, I give students these steps on a poster form. The third type of uh, open discovery learning is inquiry. Inquiry is where you use a method of science in a teaching and learning situation. It's where you ask a question and then gather data to answer that question. And I'll be talking about inquiry learning in another video, but just know that it is a type of discovery learning and it is a type of open discovery learning. The next video, we will talk about guided discovery learning.